So, build tech. You know, according to the my previous video, um, I'm kind of using the build tech flex system, and the flex system, of course, is it's a flex plate system. Forgive me, I got some loose magnets. I don't want to do it. So it's basically a flex plate plate system from build tech, and as you can see, the concept is it has this plasticky piece that has insets and has all these magnets in it. And the idea behind it is, on top of that, goes this flex system, which is an amazing surface. And then on top of that sticks the BuildTac itself, which is well known and also rechargeable, meaning that you can actually sand it with 220 grit, grit and actually get it to be sticking all over again. Um, so I really, really like the system. I was having some issues, like I said, in my previous video, because I had it originally stuck to a piece of glass that I had replaced. And between the glass, the, the base, the metal plate, and the build tack, it's a lot of mass to be moving back and forth. I've been seeing some uh, Z, basically Y, what looks like shifts in the print on different layers, and it's, it's, it's really weird. Um, so I'm thinking that it may have something to do with too much mass. I had to boost up the gain on my pot for why and the motor started to get a little bit hot so I don't like that I want to move it back down so anyways so I was gonna just pop it off put it onto the metal plate the aluminum plate which is also pretty thick and that's when I started running into the issue is that when you start peeling this off it works so well the the stickiness everything was sticking to the to the to the glass um, so I got kind of concerned. I didn't want to damage anything, so I sent something to, um, ironically, Matter Hackers, where I got it from, and their solution was to buy another one for $140. Didn't like that, actually. That one kind of makes me a little bit sad because I would have thought a little bit better of, of them. But anyway, so I took a chance, and I actually contacted BillTac directly and asked for input. And they were super, super helpful. Um, major props to them. So basically, they just confirmed what I already thought, that I should be able to pop it off and that there's no major problem with what direction these things are going. Um, the BuildTac guys did say that when they build these things originally, that they put all the north-south poles all in the same direction, but they specifically said in the email it doesn't matter and not to stress about it. Um, so anyways... So they said to do that, peel it all up, clean things up a little bit. That piece I did not fully do. There's a little bit of residue as you can see on this, but it's so thin. I don't think it'll cause a problem. If it does, yeah, well, I'll redo it again. I got like five sheets of this stuff. Um, so anyways, the uh, so what they did was they gave me the 3M stuff. This is 468MP. And... You can write on Amazon, I'll end up putting a link in there, and it's just basically replacement 3M two-sided tape. Um, and they said to just put the magnets all back in, lay it on there, and then I'll be able to pop it down and just like it was brand new. So, that's what I did. I d skipped that part. I wasn't originally going to do a video on it, but I said, what the heck. So, now all I've got to do is add the tape to this and then pop it in there. Well... Here's the problem that I have. The base plate of the CR-10 has screws that go through it that screw and mount under the base. That's what holds the base on. Two things I want to clarify. One, I use auto bed leveling sensor. And two, I've got my bed hard mounted so it doesn't use the, the springs anymore. So I don't need to take it on and off like ever. But I don't like putting something on there that I'm going to put a risk of if something goes on that I've got to take it off and now I can't get it nice and tight because the screw heads are underneath the new system. So I decided to, as you can see, I marked out and drilled the holes on the system. And it's a perfect solution. It's going to be able to pop right on. It's going to I'll be able to see the screws, get them in and out if I need to, and... It won't have any impact on the printing surface. I'd hardly ever print out the corners, even if it did. Um, and it should work. Um, should. Cross fingers. 
So anyways, at this point, I'm going to not bore you and have you watch me put this on because I'm sure there'll be some words that I shouldn't say if I have any issues. So I'll get this onto this and then maybe I'll rearrange the camera and you, I'll, you can watch me put it onto the actual bed itself. All right, we'll see you in a bit. I decided to show you something real quick. One of the things that is kind of a tip, um, I won't call it a pro tip, a uh, amateur tip that you can do is once you're putting it on, just like with any adhesive, if you start it off and fold the back, fold the backing back, you can get it lined up pretty accurately, and then you can be smoothing it as you're unpeeling it. And if all things go well, it comes out more or less perfect. So at that point, you have a wonderful perfectly aligned system. So at this point I'm just going to trim these off and then I'll be able to peel this off and do the kind of the same thing as I pull it as I'm putting it onto the bed. I decided to do a quick measurement of, of weight and the Biltac system itself is 10.45 ounces or 750 grams. The plate is another 674 grams. I mean, it's 1,424 grams that I was moving back and forth with the Biltec, or with the, excuse me, with the uh, Y-axis. Um, three pounds, two ounces, two and a quarter ounces. So, I mean, I'm going from three pounds, two ounces, to one pound, 10 ounces. So it's significantly lighter. And that's the kind of the point of doing this. So we're going to flip this up so I can actually see what I'm doing. We basically are, I'm gonna turn the light on here. We're gonna take the bill tax system, get the darn flex plate off. So we got this and it's going to sit right on my metal plate I can access the screws well enough through there and it should be awesome. I'm hoping the uh, sensor will do any kind of offset or levelings that I'm going to need. Okay, Oop, got to make sure we put it in the right direction. We need to have it off. So, last check to make sure that screws are all going to line up. And it's okay, not perfect by any means, but it doesn't need to be. And there you go. All I gotta do now is snap away. I'm gonna take it off, comes right off. All right, there you go. Nice and easy to weigh, swap it. You don't need to spend another 140 bucks. Thanks, happy printing and keep watching.